Okay, first thing I'm going to do is teach you how to use the phone and what all the buttons are for. At the bottom of the phone is a speaker button that turns on the external speaker so that you don't have to hold it to your ear to hear what people are saying to you. Above that we have all the numbers from 1 to 9 with the star, the pound, and the zero. And above that, right in the middle, is the up, down, right, left, and an OK button. We use these to navigate through the eTrace menus. Um, there's also the green button for placing cell phone calls and a red hang-up key. Above the red hang-up key is the on button, which has got a red circle with a line through it. The other two buttons that you're going to use on this are the two soft keys. They're little buttons right below the display screen with little black dots on them. There's a left one and a right one. They correspond to whatever is on the screen right above them. On the side of the phone, there's three buttons. At the top you have the volume control, volume up and volume down. And below that is a big button for the push to talk, which you use like a walkie-talkie. You hold it in to talk and you let it go to so that people can talk back to you. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is power on the phone. If you have a phone in front of you, turn it on now. As the phone loads up, it will also automatically load eTrace and start that so that you'll be in eTrace the moment the phone is on and functioning. This takes a, maybe a minute, so bear with it and wait for it to finish running through its cycle. If eTrace doesn't load, your phone is having problems and you need to notify your supervisor or me personally. Once eTrace is all loaded up, you'll be to the main screen, which will have number one jobs, number two forms, number three locations, number four messages, number five timesheets, number six supervisor, and number seven exit. Once again, we're going to navigate through this form by using either the up or down keys and when we highlight what we want, we push OK to select it. So let's say I wanted to scroll down to messages. I push down one, two, three, down to number four, and push OK on messages. I currently don't have any messages, so I go back by pushing the soft key that corresponds to back. And I'll be back at the main screen where I left it at messages. If you need to place a call and you're in eTrace, now, your phones don't have cell phone service, but they do have Direct Connect. What you do to get out of eTrace is you hang up twice. So you push the hang up key twice, and it'll bring you to the main screen with the sharks or the American flag or whatever the background picture is. If you want to place a call to your supervisor, all you do is you dial their number, just put in a number here, and you hit the talk key and it will beep. And then you wait for them to respond. Go ahead. All right. Then, if you wanted to talk to him, you just hold the push the key again. All right. I was just testing the phone. Thank you. And let it go. And you're good to go. If they did not answer, there's another thing you can do. It's called alerting them. At the bottom left hand side of the screen, it says alert, which will correspond with the left soft key. If you push that, and then you push the push to talk button, it beeps the phone until they respond. All right. Next thing to do is to get back to the main screen. Push back until you're at the main screen and you'll see eTrace in the lower right hand side. To go into eTrace you just push that button and you'll be back into eTrace.